Hey everyone, Wanabot here, and welcome to Wolfstride. It is a turn-based mecha fighter. Kind of kind of like if you took a Street Fighter or any other game, made it turn-based, and then swapped all the characters out with mecha with customizable parts. I'm sure there's a better way of describing it, but it's freaking great. I love it. <laughs> it, uh, oh gosh, what does it have? Day zero, 63 days remaining. Cowboy versus Wormageddon. All this stuff I think might be kind of new for me. I'm not entirely sure. We played the demo for this months ago and I absolutely adored it. And now I'm very much looking for, forward to the real thing, the full game. Oh, it's voice acted. Welcome, player. I've been waiting for you. Let's get down to business. What you're about to witness is unlike anything you've seen before. It is the dawn of an era. The beginning of something and the death of many more. The wheel of events is already in motion. There is no going back now. So, are you ready? <laughs> Sorry, but you got no say here. Just keep your eyes peeled for the ride and make it through to the end. Whatever happens, this is just a game! By the way, name's Foam Gun. May this be your first step into our otherworldly domain. Let's get this party started! Take a jam! A turning point. A moment in time when you look back and wonder, how the hell did I become this? Sleepwalking at light speed, I finally caught up with myself. Have I reached the peak of all I could ever be? Am I stuck on a looping mistake? Well, I guess you found your answers. It's about time I looked for mine. Rumble and struggle all you want, like I could shake it out of you. This is who you are, Dominic Shade. Cowboy, P1, Gallo 7. Gallo 7? Gallo 7. I love the art style for this. It's very graphic. It is also, as far as I know, completely just grayscale. Which, honestly, is fine. Cowboy's cockpit. Seven minutes before the fight. Hey, kiddo. How you holding up? Great, dude. Good to hear, because I'm about to crap my pants. How the hell do you manage that? Yeah, years of hardship, training mind and body, and a jar of chamomile. Well, just keep your crap together. You can always bail out if things get too messy. You really sure about this? I bet you this pile of junk is worth some good pennies. Ain't too late. Come on, dude. It's for GW. He wouldn't leave us the big guy for no reason. I know, I know. It's just that... <sighs> Scrap that. Where the hell's Shade? Don't know. He said he was gonna take a leak or something. How long ago? 30 minutes, give or take. Oh, damned cat, man. I swear to God I'm gonna choke that bastard dead. I love the artwork. Crap, kiddo. It's time. Buckle the hell up, and good luck out there. chest hair this game just has that like perfect 80s anime vibe and I love it like very oh gosh what I say Trigun Trigun or something kind of in that general vein 
there's something real magic about that period that I feel like we've lost. And so it's so nice to see games and shows and whatnot that really recapture it. I can't, I can't get over the fact that that mecha has lips. It's fine, but it's weird. Also, Cowboy had a coffee maker, or at least a kettle of some variety, in his cockpit. That is like the most dangerous thing. Oh, shit. I think we're supposed to be Shade. We got absolutely blasted by somebody. Or no, this is Shade. The guy they're beating up with somebody else. That's the other thing. Absolutely adore this animation style. Very much reminds me of like early Flash games, but obviously with a lot more quality to it. Uh, why is he smiling? on the toilet with his pants down as these guys are probably going to beat the shit out of him. Well, whatever. Doesn't matter. Cowboy versus Wormageddon. Come on, kiddo. You gotta get in there. Move that pile of junk for crap's sake. Get in range. Come to Papa Boyle. Okay. So I'm going to speed through some of the tutorial stuff as I've done this a time. So, how many movement points do I have? I got two. Okay. When you're out of options and your turn, replenish your AP and MP. So we're out of AP. Blindfold shooting, half ass punch. Wow, I'm not winning on this one, am I? I got, like, nothing. Yeah, I'm... I'm skunked. This is gonna go bad. Because I got half ass punch. Okay, still tutorial stuff. AP to replenish. Cool. So, attack. We want to do blindfold shooting first. It doesn't have much for armor, though. I mean, I could try and break the head instead. Because we got to break the core, if I remember right, not the head. That's going to take a little while. God damn, dude! That was crazy awesome! That's right, kiddo. But don't lose track of your ammo. Bringing a damned gun to a fist fight! You nuts! Punk-ass shameless cheater! I ain't got time to swat your damn flies. You're mine, blondie Cinderella. Okay, so I think I'm out of ammo. Yep. Oh, it's melee only. Okay. If I defend, we can also reload. Yeah, I might as well. Oh, that's the only defensive skill I have. Destroy the enemy's chest part to win. Good luck, trash. Yeah, we want to take that armor off before I do too much else. How you like that, punk? Does it taste good like your mama's pudding? Crap, kiddo, don't let this bastard corner you. Go over him if you need to. Push it away. Oh, sure hope that knucklehead's keeping an eye on his MP gauge. Else this dung bot ain't gonna budge an inch. Oh, boy. 
God is cooking. And this is all gourmet a la Parmigiana, you tartar humper. I got a bad feeling about this. No way in hell this cardboard robot will withstand whatever's coming its way. Oh, we should have sold that piece of dirty crap before it got wrecked to hell. What a waste, kiddo. Okay, so move. This ain't great. half ass punch. Not going to be able to do it. Might be able to... No, I'm not even going to be able to knock the head off. Yeah. Holy hell, dude. This is like punching with my entire body. I can feel the impact all around. Take it easy, kiddo. Don't push that pile of junk too much. Watch out for the AP gauge. Real players got to know when to end their turn. Unless that player's a crappy dumbass. Yeah, so unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to win on this one. But I can take the head off. My bloody think box! Just kidding, I'm better off without it anyway. Okay. And I have one more MP, but I can't push him. So we're just gonna end turn. This is not. Now's the time your mother has eagerly been waiting for, you bloody ass punk. Chew on this, you shirtless moron. But I might not be pressed, so it's not so bad. Ouch. Uh, the dream is over. That huge mountain of crap has been my worst gamble yet. The kid's done for. Another week of chugging down toilet water and stale dog food. What's that? Oh, yeah, my cell phone. Shade? Sorry, dude. I'm kind of in the middle of something here. He ain't picking up. Pineapple's got a problem with phones. Childhood trauma. Now, if you'll excuse me. Please, mister, call him again. Please call him again. Huh. You sure you want to do that right now? It's the only time. No can do, Bell. This is a breach of contract. Sue me. I assure you, this is in your best interest. We're here to make things easier for you. Think of it as foreplay. It's actually so nice of me to throw you a lifeline. So when it all goes to shit, you'll drown alone by your own fault. Last chance. Call the hillbilly and have him throw this fight. What do you say? I can't give a shit. If these are the cards you're dealing, we shall go all in. Hey, killer! Let's beat this hippie up. Why are you people always such assholes? You know what, moron? From the primordial soup to the fall of great civilizations, and now, just over the edge of the 21st century. Your lifestyles have evolved in so many ways, but you people, <laughs> you were assholes back then and you're still assholes right now. Do you know what the pinnacle of human evolution is? C4, plastic reliable explosive. It fits anywhere. In any shape, almost undetectable. Perfect. In my line of work, I usually expect people to cooperate, but as I've stated, people are assholes. And that's why C4 exists. For me to accomplish my fucking job. Now, where's the detonation device? Remind me, why the hell do I even put up with you? Psst, killer. 
Blow the hillbilly up. Wait. Oops. Born of broken men. Do I have to worry about Pineapples. these days? Maybe we do. Shade, what the hell happened to your face? I fell. Into a punch? What's up, dude? First, let me brighten up your day. All I remember is that worm god guy. God worm, you mean. He's dead. What? Heart attack. Got nothing to do with you. What the hell, dude? I remember him coming for me and then... It all went white, like a flash. That was the explosion, I guess. Explosion? Yeah, seems like we've been sabotaged. Don't ever tell the dog or you're never piling again. How did that happen, dude? I might have sold your fight to some shady guys, but it's all in the past now. Wait, what? Anyway, how's it going, champ? I'm uh, fine, I guess. A little dizzy, that's all. Good to know. The wizard is trying his best to be worried about you, but he's also over the moon, drowning in cash, thanks to your victory. Wait. I won? Seems like it. Dude. Doc said you're mostly all right. Just a few more checkups, but you should be back in the saddle in no time. A few days or so. Where's Duke? Nurse said he was here a few minutes ago. I bet he's back with a cowboy. You know, keeping his hands busy. I better go check on him. He's not gonna like to see me, though. Does he ever? By the way, dude. How's the cowboy? A crap catastrophe! Like a truck loaded with lots of crap crashing into another truck loaded with double the crap! An utterly humongous pile of shit! Oh, I've seen my share of shit back in the day, but this? That's the most gruesome pile of shit I've seen since last Christmas! Calm down, wizard. It ain't that bad. And where the hell have you been? Checking on pineapples. He's good and all. Ready for the next one. Well, that's awesome. Except there ain't shit for him to pilot. Crap. Crap! At this rate, our winnings... What the hell happened to your stupid butt face? Don't sweat, wizard. Just do your magic. My ass. Like talking to a goddamn cat. You didn't hear shit of what I said. This is a lost cause, Catman. This piece of turd is dead. Maybe we should look for a mechanic. No way. I can screw things up myself, and that's free. What do you suppose we do? Damn. Damn you, Catman. I'll fix this piece of crap. I'm gonna need a crap and miracle for it. A miracle and... Ugh. Grab a pen, you worthless piece of duck crap. Spit it. I've got a good memory. You better. Most of the hard frames and steel plates are bent and twisted. Circuits are fried, pistons dry. Secondary engines are busted and the main engine is pure poop. I need a C engine with at least 21 cylinders. Spark ignition, supercharged DOHC. Double overhead cam, dry sump. And don't you dare bring me a wet sump. This robot ain't nothing short of a miracle engineering. I'm surprised I didn't find any duct tape holding. Oh. Yeah. Give me some scraps. Lots of them. Screws, nails, paper clips, whatever. I need a hundred pounds. And duct tape. Twenty-one rolls. That should do it. Noted. So, what are you waiting for? Get out of my face, Catman! Where can I find this stuff? 
Dunno, look for a junkyard or something. I think I saw a place like that on the way here. It really does remind me. I Bounty Hogs Yard is now available. Well, we have some money. Still here, huh? Are you trying to piss on my nerves, Catman? This is fair. Eventually, I'll be able to fix things normally. I I know from the demo it gets a little bit more flexible. This is a little slower of a start. Uh, blue. A little s slower of a start than I expected, but it's fine. It's a hog yard. Yeah, I did. I did not have the ability to do this yet. So whatever this is is new. I like the blended pixel art and just like beautifully animated uh, like 2D illustrations. Oh no, it was it's this tiny little shop. Uh, are you kidding me? Or no, maybe this is just transitionary. Okay, here we go. Welcome to the hog's yard, trash. This is capitalism's garden. A place for trade and cash owned by a pig. Watch out for his money draining skills. I hope you two get along. Uh, okay. Who boy who goes there? I'm after an engine. Oh, what type? C. Hold your horses. We ain't talking about no car engine there, are we? No, this is for a mecca. A mecca? I see. Well, I don't work with that kind of stuff. Yet. I'm also looking for some scraps. Screws, gears, nails, hairpins, metal bits. That, I got plenty of. And duct tape. <laughs> you don't plan to use those together, do you? <laughs> what brings a fellow like you to Rain City? Who knows? Shot at a good payday, I guess. Ha! <laughs> Is there a better reason? So... You pilot one of those giant robots, don't you? Nope, not the pilot. I just manage stuff, keep things going. Hmm, interesting. Say, I got a nephew who happens to mess with this kind of stuff. He recently got a license for piloting. I'll give him a call. It'd be good for you guys to stay in touch. <laughs> Maybe we can even make some money out of it. Sure. Well, all right then. How much do you need? About a hundred pounds and 21 rolls of duct tape. Will do. Let me fetch it for you. There you go. Nice doing business with you. Uh, by the way, about that engine of yours, I might know someone who'll be able to help. Rumors say she's a witch, though, so be careful. A witch? Yeah, like a twisted hag and all. Crooked nose, black cats and crows. I swear I saw her riding a broom the other night. Anyway, I'll write you the directions. I'm no good with technology stuff. Uh, also, while you're at it, could you uh, deliver something for me? No prob. Great! Nothing better than hard work and youth. You keep at it, you might become a millionaire, son. Uh, let me prepare the package. Uh, why is there squelching there noises? You go. Send my regards to the witch. <laughs> Thanks for the help, uh, Mr. Shade. Ah, cool name, son. That's some way to sell yourself. Interesting names keep people curious. Curious people buy stuff, trust me. Well, we'll see you around. The crapyard is now available. Oh, do I not get the map select? I guess I don't get the map select unless I'm actually coming out of the, the main garage, maybe. 
Okay, so we want to go to the crap yard. Why do we have... Well, it's fine. Some we... Some weird atmosphere up in here. What's all that noise about a witch? Anyway, not the time to let my guard down. Why is this place just covered in junk? I mean, it's fine, Welcome but why? Welcome to the crap yard, trash. Well, it used to be called scrap yard before the S fell off the sign. Still, there's a lot of cats around here, which means a lot of crap is buried here somewhere. So, the name is still kind of fitting, isn't it? Are those dogs? Are they robots? Actually, they might be a bunch of different. I see dogs and maybe cats. What brings you here, darling? I was told you could help me with a mech engine. Also, I got a package for you. A package? From who? The bounty hog. From that pig? Hand it over. Ha! <laughs> That's the best he can do. Lose a pig, bring in a pocket knife to a gunfight. Gosh, it smells like him. The hell is it? Trust me, you don't want to know. You're quite the errand boy, huh? Bringing us here, no questions asked. Well, that could be useful. Anyways, Max, right, darling? What is it? Replacement parts. You really deal with this kind of stuff? <sighs> Doesn't look like it, does it? Times are changing, honey. Now, I may have some mileage, but I still know how to ride the flow. Anything you need or want, I can get it for you. That's the ZZ seal of quality. So, what do you need? A sea engine. Okay, got it. Sea tank, 21 cylinders, supercharged. Is it a dry sump or a wet one? Sure thing, but I need to know what we're working on here. Got any blueprints for your Mac? Not that I know of. No worries, darling. Can I come over to have a look? No harm in that, I guess. Oh, oh honey, when I mean to harm, you'll know it. Okay, is it far from here? I'm out of vehicles right now. It's about a seven minute walk. Not even a warm-up. <laughs> okay, lead the way, darling. I what really the like hell her. Is this Mac? What did you say it was again? It's a P1 Gallo 07, ma'am. Call me ma'am again, and you'll be the dog in my next hot dog. Sorry. This is outstanding. I mean, the way these circuits are placed, the distribution of weight, and the overall materials. No. Oh, a piece of shit. Huh. You're better off piloting a super-sized trash can. Crap. Oh, but I've seen worse, and I have fixed worse. This guy sure is a treasure. I've never seen one in any of my catalogs, and I got them all. Now, he's pretty unique, but like they say, just because you're unique doesn't mean you're worth shit. You mean he's a limited edition or something? No, oh, not quite. I've never laid my eyes on a wild stallion like this one. It's probably a custom, or even worse, a prototype. How did you guys end up on a date with this? It was a gift from a friend. <laughs> a gift? Oh, what kind of friend gifts a mech to someone? The dead kind. Oh, my apologies. So, I got it. And, uh, what are your expectations for this fella? Let's just say our financial lives depend on it. Well, 
it'll be a while before you guys can turn this garbage into a lucrative endeavor. But it won a fight already. Wow, it did? It must have been sheer luck. Or you really got an outstanding pilot. Not the latter, I can assure you. Sheer luck it is, then. Now, this kind of damage, it was not sustained in the regular sport, was it? It seems to me it was blown from the inside out. Are you aware of any malfunctions? No, there was an accident in our debut fight. Our adversary's arm exploded while striking the chest unit. Oh, I see. Now, who's the mechanic in charge? It's me, ma... Uh, uh, sorry, uh, I'm the one responsible. I'll be working closely with you. I need a whole body scan for a detailed blueprint. After that, we can make a draft for custom parts and any adaptations needed for installing any existing mechanisms. Look, lady, we don't have that kind of cash. Look, dog, you'll have to make do. No one in the world will help you out with this piece of junk. Of course, you can do this by yourselves, but I've had a glance at what you can do, and it's mediocre at best. I don't even want to ask why this fella is carrying around a thousand rolls of duct tape. I'm seriously worried about anyone who would dare to sit in that trap of a cockpit. You should show more respect for someone else's life, Killer Hound. Killer Hound? We'll start tomorrow. I'll need ten grand for the blueprint, replacement parts, engine, framings, and new circuits. I'll hand you a handsome list. But... I'll send the contract via DM. Have it signed by tomorrow morning and send me a copy. All right, darlings. Let's turn this mess into a champion. So, what do you think? What is there to think? I'm signing it. What? How the hell are we supposed to afford it? Besides, that woman is a piece of work. You think so? I think she's lovely. Aw, oh, screw you, cat man. Chill out, wizard. You heard her. She's gonna make him a champion. More like she'll make a chump out of all of us. That's a whole load of cash. Think about pineapples. You really want him going through this all over again? The big guy might be a time bomb. Let's make sure Knife comes back alive. That's why I wanted to sell this crapper from the beginning. Let's just cash in and go on about our ways, split by three. That's gotta be a unanimous decision. Pineapples isn't budging, so no deal. We gotta do what we gotta do. Hell, Catman. We need a second opinion. Nah, I got a good feeling about her. Witch and wizard working together. Don't you find it fitting? That old piece of hag sure looks like a damned witch. I bet she's a cat person. Couldn't you smell it on her? I got rhinitis. Can't smell for shit. Bit of a slow starter, but I guarantee once we get rolling, this gets... Pretty great. So what's the great plan, Catman? Don't worry, wizard. Just focus on the big guy and leave the rest to me. You better secure another source of income. Ten grand is about all our fight money. It's already taken a bump from our current bills, food and supplies, not to mention the hospital costs. I'm on it. You ain't good for my health. Hire Z? Why the hell am I always broke? Am I alive just to suffer? Well, we don't have anybody up above. Okay. Look for jobs. Find work around town to earn cash and prizes. New jobs will be available as you progress through the game. Might be a good idea to check a knife. Why the hell not? Let's fit it into the schedule. Am I not going to be able to actually play this game before this episode is done? That's... I don't like that. Because, <laughs> like, this game is sick once you get rolling, but they added a lot to the beginning here. 
hell, they added just a lot to everything. It's neat, but I just want to get to fighting. I, it very much is going for that kind of cowboy bebop trigun, you know, start low, work high kind of sort of. How are you? I'm okay. A little dizzy, I guess. Something to do with my ears. The doc said not to worry about it, though. Oh, great news. Hey, seems like we got ourselves a real mechanic this time. What? Another one for the team? She's charging hell, but I got a good feeling about her. Nice. What about the cowboy? It'll be back on track in no time. Just leave it to us. Focus on getting the hell out of here. Sure thing, dude. Well, I'll be going then. I'm thinking about hitting the local bar today. Smoking and drinking? You should care more about your life, dude. I am. Hmm. Oh boy, Mr. Shade. What brings you to my humble abode? His real name is Francis Warhol, though. Just like that dude, uh, Dandy Warhol. He's been struggling with his piece of junk for about a year now. Now, you never heard it from me, but boy, does that mech have some issues. I bought a classic once, a real gem of a car, Endurance. Damn me if I didn't spend four times its value just to get it rolling. And I ended up selling it for half the price. That literally ended my third marriage. A good thing for once. But hell, I'd be damned if the kid hasn't spent twice more than I did on his old ass mech. Anyway, it's a good thing he asked. I just told him about you and he's all fired up. Who knows? I'm even considering holding a match for you guys. I won't make any promises, though. Ah, oh, you're looking for a haven, am I right? Ah, uh, there's the Ryder nearby. Cool place. I used to be close pals with the previous owner. He sold the bar a few months ago, packed up his things, enjoying the breeze in Hawaii now. Can you imagine? Wish I could drop my stuff as well. Just gotta hold on a little longer. Anyway, I'll write you the directions. Thanks. Also, Joy, the new bartender. She's a good kid. You two might get along. Tell her I said hi. Alright, so it looks like we get to have ec like multiple mecha and multiple pilots that we manage over the course of this, which is actually, that's kind of interesting. I'm curious about how it's going to work from a plot perspective all right so i'm gonna stop us here at least for now uh mainly just because i kept going for another hour question mark and barely reached any gameplay i love this game but it's definitely a slow starter it's a lot of slice of life it's a lot of world and character building and it's a lot of just kind of detail which works really well if you're there for it. Uh, from my perspective, I was hoping I could dive a little bit more into the actual mech fighting part of this, uh, mainly just because it's incredibly cool. Um, this footage I guess I'm using is just pulled from the demo footage to show what this game could be uh, once you get in there. There's a lot of customization, there's a lot of different abilities, there's a lot of stuff. You just have to get through a lot of story to get there. And so if you're like a big fan of Cowboy Bebop, of Trigun, of, you know, older school, Japanese anime, uh, especially kind of that flavor. I guess those are those are 90s, aren't they? I don't know, whatever. It doesn't matter. But you know that that kind of more. Uh, gosh, there's there's a specific description for it, and I can't muster the the words right. But that kind of uh, barely scraping by, freelancer mercenary kind of feel. Like that's what this has and I can't wait to see where it goes because it seems dang intense. It's just going to take a long time to get there, which is unfortunate because it's like it, it seems like there's a lot to it. I just wanted to fight some mechs kind of here and there between the story beats, uh, especially so early on. But with all of that said, Wolfstride is available on uh, Steam now and I think maybe other platforms, but especially Steam. It's 15 bucks. So despite all my grumps about kind of the slow pacing and other stuff, like, this is 
absolutely worthwhile. It's an incredible product, and I can't wait to play more of it. And I hope at least some of you guys are interested in picking this up, because one thing I want to know is what are the most busted builds you can get? Because there's so many parts to mess with. There's so many different builds you can go for. I want to see what the ridiculous ones are. Like, that's that's why I really play these games. The story, though, I, it's got me. I just wish it was a better mix. But with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Because I've got a ton of other indie games to check out. And I might be back for more of this somehow. Like I said, it's kind of a slow burn. So I might have to figure out how to either edit this down or do some kind of highlight reel. I don't know. Or maybe we do a full series if people are super interested. But with all that said, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.